Hi friends, I am John Laspina. I'm the carnivore teacher and I don't eat any carbohydrates at all whatsoever because I'm a carnivore. The only sugar I might get is the glycogen that is in the meat of the animal that I'm eating. So today I want to talk to you about carbohydrates. A lot of people don't realize that when they eat bread, when they eat rice, potatoes, they're eating carbohydrates, pure carbohydrates, and that converts into sugar pretty quickly too. There are enzymes in our saliva that start the process, and then as you digest it into your stomach, very rapidly carbohydrates turn into sugar. If you have a continuous glucose monitor on your arm, you can actually eat a piece of either whole wheat or white bread. It doesn't matter if it's whole wheat, by the way. That does not slow down the conversion of the carbohydrates into sugar very much at all, like one to 5%, it slows it down. There's not enough fiber there, by the way. And you eat that bread and you take your phone that's connected to your continuous glucose monitor and you watch how fast your blood glucose goes up. Same thing with rice brown rice, white rice, all the different fancy rice. Rice is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates turn into sugar. Grains, all the different grains, whether it's corn, whether it's rice, whether it's wheat, and all the amaranth, quinoa, they all turn into sugar. They do. Now, some of these have a lot more fiber, so the conversion to sugar is a little, not a lot, by the way, but a little bit slower. That's why they tell you, eat, eat the whole wheat this and eat this kind of rice instead of this kind of, but not to any measurable beneficial extent. Carbohydrates convert to glucose, period. And now your body has to work with all that raised glucose. We have one teaspoon of sugar flowing through our veins to nourish our red blood cells and, and to do all these other things. There's a couple parts of our body that must use glucose for fuel. They don't work on ketones. And that's why your liver through gluconeogenesis creates just the amount of glucose that parts of your body need on demand. So when you add some bread or cereal or rice or corn, popcorn, you are adding more glucose to that amount that's already in your system. And the liver senses that and tells the pancreas to send out all this insulin to to let it into the cell for energy and then there's just too much. So it's left over floating around the body. That's when glucose does damage. Glucose is sticky, sugar sticky, it sticks onto things, grabs onto the, the walls of your cells and the, your, the lining of your arteries and it damages everything it touches. So the body tries to protect you by you know, taking it back to the liver and converting it into fat after it's stored a little bit as glycogen. But this doesn't work for very long and a person gets obese and with obesity comes a lot of other uh, medical problems because the cytokines that are released from your fat cells are very unhealthy. It's very inflammatory for the body to be obese. Grains are inflammatory. Sugar is inflammatory. We only need a tiny amount of glucose for our body to be healthy and our liver provides that. That's why they say of the three macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fat, carbohydrates are not essential because our body makes it just the amount we need too. It's automatic. So stay away from carbohydrates is my advice. It's my opinion. Now, people who do a low carb or a ketogenic way of eating, they count their carbs and they use it and sometimes they put it in an app on their phone and they will just permit themselves to have no more than 20 or 30 total grams of carbohydrates based on the food they ate. That's better than eating the standard world diet, which is probably 200 to 300 total grams of carbohydrates. Remember, all carbohydrates convert to glucose. They convert to sugar in the body. If you're eating 250 grams a day, standard world diet, it's what's out there. It's in the restaurants, it's in the stores, everywhere. If you're eating that food, the amount of damage that you're causing your body, it adds up over time and in years, medical problems occur. 
insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and then that spurs on other complications and diseases and medical problems. So yes, the ketogenic eating people have it right. The ketovore people have it right. The low carb people have it right. The carnivores have it right. The lion diet people are doing it right. The fewer carbohydrates you consume, the healthier your body is. So I'm a carnivore, but I didn't start out that way. I am eating the proper human diet. This is coined by Dr. Ken Berry. If you want to check out his channel, man, whew, what a wealth of information. You can find the answer to anything. Type in Dr. Ken Berry and then type in your question in a couple of words, and he made a video about it. Most of his talks, most of what all of the doctors I listen to talk about is carbohydrate reduction. Carbs, sugars, they also talk about seed oils. Some people talk about oxalates, plants. Lower the carbohydrates so low that you're not damaging your body. And your body will lose weight if you have to lose weight. Many other things will happen to you over time that are improvements that you didn't even know were problems. Seriously, it's amazing. So carbohydrates all turn into sugar. We don't need sugar. We don't need carbs. They're not essential. And I want to encourage my listeners to go on a low carb diet. Start out just by taking carbohydrates. Start out by taking out the bread from your diet. Then if you're eating rice, just stop eating rice. Then stop eating potatoes and French fries and things like that, tater tots. Start pulling out the carbohydrates. If you want to start slowly, it's real easy to just slowly pull that out. Pull out all the cakes, the candy, the sugar, the pies. We all know they have sugar in them, but a lot of people don't know that bread, rice and potatoes, right? Wheat, that's sugar. Take that out and watch your health improve. Watch your emotions and your mental health improve too. It really works. So eat well so that you can look and feel well and become the optimized version of yourself by not ingesting carbohydrate or very, very, very few. Have a great day.